Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gimba Red, and we're doing a quick reaction video to Ashton Hall using red light therapy in one of his latest videos. Actually, this is a reaction video to Greg Doucette reacting to Ashton Hall's morning routine. So this is kind of a nested reaction video. Welcome to content in 2025. So Ashton is using red light therapy in the early morning. Maybe he's been watching some of Dr. Glenn Jeffrey on his statements about using red light therapy effectiveness being more effective in the mornings than it is in the afternoons or evenings. And in the end, someone said, what time of day? And then the people that said they did it in the mornings were the people that got results. People that are doing it in the afternoons were not getting as good results if they got results at all. So now I think one of the interesting things is this really only works between perceived sunrise and about 11 o'clock in the day. But actually rewatching that clip, maybe Ashton is doing it a little bit too early of doing it before the sun has risen. You're going to tell me that this guy wakes up at 4.07 in the morning and takes a bath and somebody then passes him some togi water while doing red light therapy for just his face. Red light therapy... That's actually beneficial, but why not do it for your entire body? I mean, Coach Greg, I have a red light therapy machine, but it's not just for my face. Now, Greg asks, why not do full body red light therapy? But it's kind of like, why would you judge if someone just wants to treat their face and just do your face? Like, why would you have to do your whole body if it's not necessary? And unfortunately, Greg's not up on the latest science that a, a recent systematic review on full body red light therapy for athletic performance showed that it's been getting inconsistent results for athletic performance and athletic recovery. They're getting inconsistent results with full body trials. And the authors are recommending that you use the tried and true method, which is skin contact of delivering targeted treatments to the muscle groups that you actually need it. But hey, Bro is in his 20s. Perhaps he's not as old as Coach Greg. He doesn't need all the help he can get. So it's an interesting implication that Greg's kind of implying that obviously Ashton Hall doesn't need red light therapy just for his face. Like he's a pretty young guy. Doesn't seem to need it. He's very fit. His skin looks great. So is he just promoting some sort of product or just being provocative with a trending product? And it's like, yeah, probably. But then we could say the same thing about Greg. Is he just using full body red light therapy just because it's a trending product and he hasn't really dived into the science and the effectiveness of doing it the right way. So Greg touches on a very important issue with red light therapy is why are relatively healthy people being urged to use red light therapy devices when they don't actually need therapy. It's like telling people to take a drug that they don't actually need. Even if the drug is completely safe, uh, why would you take a drug that you, it's not necessary? So you can see this through a lot of fitfluencers that are promoting red light therapy. They don't necessarily need it for the health benefits. They need it to make money or to make provocative content on a trending topic. Like people like me, I got into red light therapy because I actually needed it to improve my health. All right, that's my bit for today. Thank you.